This is Robert from Robust Child Support Team. Um, this video shows how to use Voucher Com port. The Voucher Com port I'm going to show is not RFC 22 and 17 standard. It is not able to control serial ports, changing the parameters of serial ports like board rate, data bits, stop bits, or flow control, etc. But you can change these parameters when you log in router. This is the topology of the demo test. PLC connected to R3000 through serial connection. And I'm gonna use um, serial port utility to simulate PLC. PLC simulator run in this PC connect to R3000 via a RS485 to USB cable. R3000 and, R3000 and PC connected to a switch and they can communicate with each other. R3000 IP is 172.16.60 this test will run in a raw TCP connection. R3000 would be a TCP server. PC is TCP client. Act as a center. Center side, they usually have a center service, service software to connect to COM ports. Here we use hookers to simulate uh, the software. Finally, the target is to realize PC can connect PLC uh, through virtual COM port. Okay, uh, start the PLC simulator. A serial tour. Uh, this serial tour connect to R3000 through a US uh, through a RS485 to USB cable. It is connected to COM port. Uh, serial parameters already match with the device. Okay, we start the serial tour and then logging out a thousand. At the serial port, enable the serial port and make sure the parameters on R3000 matched with the PLC simulator. Uh, set R3000 as a TCP server. Mode is TCP transparent. And we need to define a port for the server. Port is um, 47 and 9. Submit and submit the settings and save the settings. And then start the hookers. We use uh, this tool to simulate center's service software. As you know, when you want to connect to R3000 for Serial connect communication, you can use TCP client or UDP or TCP server for connection. 
but the case is the center, ser center service software can only connect with the Sericom ports only can use uh, the Sericom ports there is no TCP UDP client or server for option so in, the case, in this case how can it connect R3000 with a Sericom port here we can use uh, this very useful software virtual serial ports in uh, the simulator from uh, either logic it is already installed in my PC Start at the emulu emulator. First, we need to create a serial port. Add device create connector. Let a COM port, for example, complex finish. Second, combine this COM port with a TCP connection. Same in device create TCP client. Since stand aside as a TCP client, so we create TCP, TCP client here. Next, and we need to connect to R3000. Input the IP address of R3000. In the meanwhile, the serial port parameter should be matched with the PLC serial port, so we need to adjust it here. Make sure the serial parameters is matched. Okay, finish. Okay, COM6 is ready and TCP is connected. Now we can use center service software to connect Watcher count six. Black count six and set the serial port parameters at the serial connection. Here on the PLC simulator, we can enable uh, sending data periodically. As you can see, uh, the central service software is receiving data, and we can also send data to PLC. PLC can receive data. So with uh, the with the software with this tool, we can create the virtual COM port for the center service software for connection. And in the in this test, uh, the data sending and receiving is working properly. Okay, that's it. Hope it is helpful. Thanks for watching.